Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to day three of NaNoWriMo and welcome back to my channel. That's the opposite order I meant to say that in, but I am not shooting this over again because I just don't have time. <laughs> um, it is morning and I am going to try to get some words in before I have to rush off to my other event. And oh yeah, these are in fact yesterday's braids. Don't judge. They actually stayed pretty well, so I might try to turn them into an updo for today's um, shindig rather than take them out and start over. We'll see. Um, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to cut back after I've done my sprint and gotten ready and see if I can do one of those uh, quick change edits. So I guess I'll find out in editing how well that worked or didn't work. Anyway, obviously getting ready to run out the door here. Um, managed 590 words in a half hour sprint. So I'm feeling pretty good about that, even though that I've still got a long way to go to hit 2000 for today. Um, but this event, since it starts on the early side, I'm thinking I should get back maybe five o'clock in the evening. Although <laughs> also remembered I have a Minecraft event to do tonight <laughs> that I still have to do some prep for because I haven't had time to be on the server. So um, that's going to take some time too. And that impacts other people so I can't put it off like I could if it was just a me project. So then th there'll be that. But I should be able to make 2,000 words today. Check in again later and we'll see where I'm at. Okay. So, once again, we're approaching midnight, <laughs> um, but not quite as badly. I should actually finish before midnight with a few minutes to spare. Um, I have finished my words for the day. Now up to 6,251 words, having added another 2,011 words today. Of course, each day is going to be a little less. Day one was 2126, day two was 2114, day three was 2011. Granted, they're all over 2000, which is what I want. I want to be at least 2000 words a day, but I'm not liking that trend. <laughs> eh, anyway, everything went fine today. At the event, at the work-related event, um, the Minecraft event actually kind of didn't, but that wasn't wasn't because I didn't go on to do it. It was because the way I had set it up made something mess up. So hopefully I'll fix that tomorrow, because I have to hear back from somebody else to fix it. Um, but even with both of those things still managed to get words in, so yay. Um, even ventured into chapter two, which I hadn't planned to do quite yet. Um, and I see that I saw that the topic I put down for myself for today was point of view decisions. Um, which is interesting because, yeah, where this chapter one stuff actually ends up is going to have a fair bit to do with some of my point of view decisions, I think. I'm not sure which one's going to affect the other the most. Because up through this point into chapter two, the only point of view it makes sense to give is Vi's. When I did the draft last November for the what what is looking like book four in the series? Um, it really was useful to be able to switch out to her roommate's point of view at certain times. Um, there's one scene in particular that, if I were to try to rewrite it in Vi's point of view, I just don't even know how I would get across what was happening. 
Um, and there were just some really cool things that came up from writing Penny's point of view that I don't want to lose. I, I want to explore what that's going to look like at this stage when they're first meeting. Um, yeah. So I don't know what that's going to end up having to look like. Um, cause if I'm going to give more than one point of view, then there's two other characters who should probably get point of view as well. And fours, it's not impossible to juggle. Uh, my 2017 Nano, which it was a fan fiction, but it was it ended up being a 75,000 word thing um, and juggled five points of view. So I know I can do it. There's less danger in fan fiction of overdeveloping some characters and underdeveloping others because you're playing with characters that your audience already has expectations about before they click on your thing to read it. That's not true in original fiction. So the decisions kind of carry a little more weight. Um, so I'm kind of debating how I want to go about this. Keep it to one point of view. If I don't introduce these other two characters point of view into later books, I'm just not liking that. Unless each book has a different character's point of view. That's also a possibility. Even though it's kind of Vi's journey, I do want it to be an ensemble. Um, but even, you know, even in a heist, right? That's the classic ensemble. You've still got a primary protagonist. Even in like Six of Crows, they, that, there's a, you know, relatively recent heist style novel where you get six points of view, but Kaz is still clearly the main protagonist. And he's the one who ties all the other threads together. Hmm. Maybe I need to reread that. Think about how that was done and whether something like that would make sense. How many points of view have you ever juggled in one of your books, stories, whatever, and what do you weigh when you're deciding which characters get point of view? Um, I'd be interested to hear either in comments and discord, whatever. Um, yeah. Until next time, happy writing. Have a wonderful day. Bye.